What's up, guys? Good morning. I know my hair looks a mess, but whatever. Anyway, this is the topic I got for you guys today. What do you bring to the table? What do you have to offer? That is a commonly asked question in this space, in this manosphere, in this um, community or whatever. And um, despite its negative connotations, it's actually a pretty reasonable question to ask. And people get offended when you ask that question. I mean, and I understand why some people might not take kind to it, probably, like I said, because it's the context it's being asked in. But think of it like this. Every last one of y'all has been to a job interview, right? Whenever they let you go, the last question they ask is, well, why should we hire you? We have a dozen and a half people applying the same position that you are. Why should we hire you over them? Same thing is that you got to meet certain qualifications if you want to get that job and that's kind of why the question what do you bring to the table is so commonly asked now the problem is is that people lead with that question and you should because I ain't gonna just approach somebody I'm not just gonna approach a woman and be like well what do you bring to the table what do you have to offer what can you do that the rest of these chicks can't do the thing is that's gonna come I mean the thing is that's gonna come when you um, get to know that person a little bit more and this is just me how I feel about it personally. Now, having something to offer is good. Uh, being able to stand above the crowd is also great. I mean, the thing is, that's kind of necessary when you are considering somebody for long term or whatever the heck you want to do. But for me personally, like, I initially, I really don't give a damn about what somebody has to offer or what they got. I mean, because that person could really not mean you any, any good. They could mean you more harm than good. I don't give a damn what you bring to the table. I mean, like, if, if I, like, what you bring to the table is irrelevant to me if I don't like you. Y'all got to keep that in mind. Like, if, like, for me personally, it ain't about what somebody can do for me or what they got or what they have to offer. If we don't, if I have no nothing in common with you, if I have no connection to you at all, what you bring to the table, what somebody got is irrelevant. Like, a person can have everything that you have, a person can have everything that you desire, and a person can meet all your qualifications, and guess what? They can still be no good for you. And that's how a lot of people get caught up. That's how a lot of people end up in crappier situations than they did before, because you know, that, that pretty apple, you know, that, that shiny apple looked good up at the top of that tree, but they couldn't reach it and they fell and broke their damn neck. So, was it worth it? No, it was not. Like I said, I'm not really concerned with somebody got or what they can do for me. I have to rock with who they are as a person show me who you are first show me who you are so i can decide whether i want to deal with you or not because a lot of people you don't you really don't see their true colors you just see what they have to offer in the beginning and the thing is what they have to offer in the beginning might not benefit you in the long term so yes asking somebody what they have to offer is a very very good question but if what they have to offer does not match their character then it's irrelevant, but that's just my thoughts about it. But you guys tell me what you think. Story don't let what somebody else brings to the table be all you have to eat. Peace.